Hello everyone, today I'm gonna do a Sonic tier list. This is a remaster of an old video from like a year ago or so, I can't remember. So first off, we're gonna start with creating a new one, a, a new row below for the games I've never played before. So we're gonna start with never played, and oh, I gotta add another one too, since there's no F tier, I don't know why. So... Essentially, this is how this works. So, we're going to start with never played, and then we're going to work our way all the way up to S. So, that's how this is going to work. So, let me just change these real quick. Alright, there we go. So... If the audio sounds weird, it's because I'm not actually using a microphone. I'm speaking through my PlayStation controller right now. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first off, we got Sonic the Fighters. I played this game before on PlayStation Now. It really wasn't enjoyable. I wish I would have played Sonic Battle so, like, I could compare the two and see which one's better. But I have seen some gameplays of Sonic Battle, which was, like, a long time ago when I was, like, five. So, yeah, I played this, and I didn't really have it really wasn't good in my opinion because the fights were just so unbalanced. Like one combo and then you're dead. So I'm going to put this game in D tier because how they tried to make an actual Sonic fighting game. Next we got Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now I played this game as well. This game, I don't like how Sonic is like, you know, made for the Wii. Because like, I don't feel like Sonic is made for the Wii. It's made for like... But like, you know, Nintendo Switches, PlayStation, the Genesis stuff, consoles like that. So, I'm going to put it in C tier because the story and stuff like that. Yeah, I played it before and the story was pretty good as well. So, next up we got Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, win Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. I never played this one before. Black Knight. Same thing as Sonic and the Secret Rings. So I feel like Sonic ain't made for the Wii, and the story is good too. And the fact that they made that they made Sonic a knight and they brought back other characters, which is cool. Sonic Generations 3DS never played. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. I'm giving that F tier because they just tried to make the first Sonic game and make it 3D, which which was I don't know why they did that. Like they just they should have just left it alone. So, I'm going to put that in F tier. Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood, never played. Sonic Mania Plus, S tier. I don't even need to explain why this game is S tier. They brought they brought back the classics. They, classics. they brought back the classics and they made it. Yeah, they, br they brought back the classics and they made it so good. Like, they made a good comeback. Sonic Gems, never played. Sonic Colors, now. Like I said with these two games, Sonic, I don't feel like Sonic is made for the Wii, but if you actually, you know, play it a lot, it becomes really fun. And the fact that, and I like how, what they did with Super Sonic, instead of just like going around just collecting Chaos Emeralds and getting 50 rings, you gotta get, you gotta get all red star rings, all red star rings in every single stage on every single world. So I'm gonna put it in B tier because of the story, creativity. But it would have been higher in like A or S if it wasn't for the Wii. Tails, Sky Patrol, never played. Sonic Jump, never played. Sonic Jump Jungle, never played. Sonic Advance, A tier. I like how they made Sonic a mixture of 3D and 2D. Well, by 3D, it's still pixelated. So like, but overall, the game is really good as well. Sonic Adventure, second S tier game. Sonic Adventure, they... Br they made Sonic 3D for the first time, and they I, and they did it good, too. I can't really think of any flaws with it. Actually, you know what? I can't think of some flaws. I'll, I'll, I'm going to drop it down in A tier because nobody wanted to play as big. The, the big levels were just a pain, a, a huge pain. And the uh, mouth movement, it, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really align with the voices, and the voice act... And the voice acting can be goofy at sometimes. Sonic Force of Speed Battle, a mobile game. I'm going to put it in B tier. Because 
Well, I'm going to put it in B tier because I don't feel like Sonic is also made for mobile. The only two games that I feel like, the only two Sonic games I feel like that are good for mobile is just Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. That's it. Those are the only good Sonic games that actually fit on mobile. Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal. I played this before on a, on a CD, on, on a 3DS, not a CD. I'm put it in C tier because I think the game was real fun. I like what they did with the boost mechanic, and yeah, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Never played Sonic Heroes S tier. S tier. Actually, no. Actually, you know what? A tier. A tier. A tier. So, I really do like what they did with the um with the team mechanics, and they br and they brought back the chaotix. That was re that was really cool to see, but the game just gets very repetitive because you're just doing the same levels over and over again, but just with different characters. So the game is just really re repetitive. Sonic Forces, I'm gonna put that in B tier. Cause now before you see something in the comments, I actually really did enjoy Sonic Forces. I really did. I I don't understand why people don't like Sonic Forces. If you ask me, it's just a, it's just, it's just a good game. Sure, sure, you won't usually only play as Modern Sonic. Sure, Modern Sonic would just boost to win, but overall, besides, if you just get past that and just, like, enjoy the game, it's really fun. So, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm going to put Sonic Forces and Beats here. And I'll, I forgot to say it at the first of the video. This is my opinion. This is my opinion, okay? So don't get mad if, if I don't agree with you and stuff like that. Alright. Moving on. Sonic Rush Adventure. Never played. Sonic Unleashed, the Wii version. Never played. Never played. Sonic the Hedgehog Project 06. Now, if you know, if you watch my videos, you know I've made a couple of videos on this game. This gets an automatic S tier. Automatic. Chaos X is making history with this with this remaster of a terrible Sonic game. If you played the game for yourself, you will realize that it's absolutely amazing. The graphics, the mechanics, the bug fixes, no, it is amazing. And not only did they just made the game more smoother, they also added custom options. Like they brought back stuff from the other game. Like you can choose what kind of jump dash you want, the straight one, the curve one, or the legacy one. Legacy is literally Sonic Heroes jump dash. You could choose the spin dash effect or the jump spin dash slash jump effect, whatever you want to call it. You could choose from normal. No, normal is the one from Sonic the Hedgehog 06, like the normal version. Or you could have the Adventure version or the Adventure 2 version. So yeah, that was real cool. This game, and they fixed, and they added their own custom spin to it. You can unlock Super Sonic, and unlike in the original game, you don't have to go to a literal shop and just pay 99, I don't know, like 999 million rings or something like that just to get a broken gem that won't even make you go super. So, and if you get every single S rank in Sonic Shadow and Silver stages, you unlock, like, abilities. Like, you unlock their full potential. Sonic unlocks Super Sonic. Shadow takes off his... His inhibitor rings and just goes beast mode. Silver gets an ESP boost, and when he gets close to an opponent, when he get close to an enemy, they automatically become stunned, and his ESP reduces is amazing. So this game in general, amazing. Automatic S tier. Sonic Drift Two never played. Sonic R never played. Sonic Blast never played. Sonic the Hedgehog Two Master System never played. Sonic the Hedgehog, A tier. Actually no S tier. So. A good way to start off the entire series, if you played um, Rad Mobile, I never played it before because I wasn't even born when that came out, you realize that Sonic had made, that was Sonic's first appearance, so Sonic getting his whole series and becoming exactly what he is now, very cool, this was a good start to the series. Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, uh, Sonic, yeah. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Messes, I never played that, never played this. Sonic's Venom Doll, F tier. I really, I really don't hate this. I really hate this so much. Because the graphics was terrible. I 
I hated the gameplay because so many things could go wrong. And because, like, the stages were just annoyingly difficult for a Sonic game, for a Sonic game, for literally no reason. Now, yeah, that, that sounds like a huge skill issue, I know. But if you played the game for yourself, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Sonic Unleashed Project. Never played, never played, never played, never played. Sonic Advance 2. Uh, where do I put this? Yeah, it's A tier. It's literally Sonic Advance, but just the duo mechanic and stuff like that. Yeah, that was really cool. What was that Sonic Advance 3? I don't remember. I haven't played it in a while. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Alright, so Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is an odd is an easy S tier. If someone if you agree if you agree otherwise, there's something wrong with you, because like anyone who has been anyone who's been playing a Sonic game for pretty much their entire life, sh they would know that this game is a is an S tier. Cause first of all, we brought that they made a new character, Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog made his first appearance in this in this game, which was really cool. He was he was like he would he I, I don't know, but I'm just dumbfounded on how amazing this game is. The one thing I don't like about Sonic Adventure 2 though, is how everyone confused Sonic with Shadow. Like I don't know how. Shadow's quills or spikes, whatever you want to call them. Are literally tilted upwards. Shadow is literally black, and Shadow literally has rocket shoes and rings on his legs, well, his ankles and his wrists. So I don't know how you confuse him with Sonic. That makes no sense to me. All right, next up, Tales Adventure. Never played. Never played. Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, A tier. The fact that Eggman had got his own game. Had got his own game. And they made it good as well. It was really cool to me. The multiplayer, it was fun playing this with friends. So, overall, just a really good game. Sonic Adventure DX. I really don't see the... I really don't see the difference between this one and this one. But, so... Sonic Rush. Uh, A tier. So. Sonic Rush. Is... The reason why I give it A tier... Is because the game can get repetitive since you play as two characters which is Sonic and Blaze so yeah overall the story is good the mechanics good they they did they did the boost mechanic very well and yeah the soundtrack as well have y'all ever have y'all ever listened to back to back Sonic's version it's amazing Sonic Adventure 2 it's literally Sonic Adventure 2 battle but the only difference is this one doesn't have multiplayer and this one does. Never played, never played. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. S tier. Actually, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 S tier. S tier. The second, the second Sonic video game, really, really good. They introduced a new character, Tails, and, well, actually, they kind of introduced three, but they introduced Silver Sonic. And tails, so, and that's really cool. And they also introduced the spin dash mechanic in this game as well. It's literally taking everything in Sonic the Hedgehog and making it better. So yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate a S tier. This game is for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation. Is Sonic Colors couldn't could have been S tier if it wasn't if it was on Wii. Now this game, Sonic Colors Ultimate, is on literally every console today. So if they would have just made Sonic Colors not a Wii, not a Wii console game in general, it would have been S tier. So they literally just did every, they took everything that this game had did and made it better. Sonic Drifter don't never play, never play. Shadow the Hedgehog. I'm gonna get it. A, I'm gonna give it a C tier. So they just made it's literally Sonic but edgy. Like they really just made Sonic edgy, and the the fact that in the opening intro of the game, how they made Sonic look apparently dead after Shadow just beat the crap out of Sonic, yeah. And the whole should I be good, should I be bad, that that whole thing, 
it was I don't even know cuz like but I don't even know and and yeah that's all I really have to say so yeah never play never play Sonic Advance 3 S tier S S tier is literally all these games but better I mean, not all of them but Sonic Advance and Sonic Advance 2 but better never played Sonic Generations oh my god we got a, we're getting a lot of S tiers today, boys. Boys and go girls. So, Sonic Generations. They brought back classic Sonic, and the game was amazing. Just amazing. They brought back old levels. It, literally a blast at the past. Good way to ce celebrate Sonic's birthday. Alright. Sonic Boomers Blue. Never played. Never played. Sonic and Knuckles. Amazing. They brought a new character into the game. A new character, obviously being Knuckles. And he even had a full he had a good uh you know, good introduction. Of course, Eggman is up to his business schemes as always. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, Knuckles got fil fooled by Eggman. And he, Eggman tricked him into giving him the Master Emerald and fighting Sonic. And then Knuckles and Sonic and Tails team up together to take Eggman down. Really cool. <coughs> I'm drinking Kool-Aid right now and I'm choking, so. Never played. Team Sonic Racing. B tier. I'm not really a fan of the Sonic Racing games. Well, this is the only Sonic Racing game I play, but I wasn't really a fan of it. So, yeah. <coughs> so, so Unleashed Mobile, never played. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, S tier. Amazing. They brought a new mechanic. I don't even know what it does. I even forgot the name of it, but I, n I don't even know what it did. But this was the first game to have Hypersonic. We need more Sonic games with Hypersonic in them. Sega, please bring it back. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Oh, wait, no. What am I doing? Never played, never played, never played, never played. No, Sonic Origins. All right, my fault. <coughs> I'm going to give it A tier. It's just bringing about the, all the old classic levels, and just, and you're just replaying them again. There's So, I don't even know what to say. Just, just A tier. Sonic vs. DS, never played, never played, never played. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Literally the fusion of this game and this game. Like, it's like if this game, these two games did the fusion dance or use the Patara earrings to fuse. So, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, just S tier. It's amazing. <laughs> Sega Superstar Tennis. This game gets an S tier. This is, this is a childhood game that I played. I remember my dad had an Xbox 360, and he had, and this was the game he had. So, of course, I played it, and it was amazing. It was amazing. I would just go around using Sonic all the time, and I, I would just stay on the first level. I won't even use any other characters. I just stood on the first level, just kept getting my star up. Well, my super is in the shape of a star, and just had fun with Super Sonic because he was, like, so broken. So, yeah, let's cheer. All right, Sonic Shuffle, never played. Sonic Unleashed, S tier, S tier. So Sonic Unleashed, I really like this game because they did the boost, they did the boost mechanic good. The music was fire, and Sonic getting a new friend besides Tails is you know like Gaia or Chip. And so basically, the essential story of the game is Eggman, Eggman find discovers an ancient being named Dark Gaia and he was resting like I don't know in like Earth's crust or like in the city of the earth. So in order to awaken him, Eggman has to like I don't know, blow up the earth or something like that to reawaken Dark Gaia. So and is and Sonic had got trapped in like egg this thing, this I don't know I don't know the name of it but Essentially, what it did was it just shocked Sonic. It kept shocking Sonic to death until Sonic just like 
he de transformed out of Super, and all the and Eggman pretty much had all the Chaos Emeralds. So, no, 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 they fell into the Earth with Sonic. My fault. So, when it had turned night, Sonic had instead of, Sonic had became a Werehog instead of just you know remaining in his Hedgehog form. So yeah, that was really cool. The Werehog. The warehouse level was cool. I just wish that every time you got into a fight, they didn't play that annoying boss music. So yeah, they were played. Sonic Dash 2, Sonic Boom. Uh, C tier. It's just Sonic Dash if it was Sonic Boom. And it was alright. Sonic Unleashed PlayStation. This game was on the PlayStation 2? I never knew that. Sonic Brothers ever played. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2022. Last year, I remember it was it was January twenty twenty one. January twenty twenty one. I wanted this game so badly. I wanted this game so badly, so badly. Like I would not. Like I could not. I could not go a day without watching a YouTube video on this game. That's how badly I wanted it. So yeah, Sonic make, never played, never played Sonic City. I'm gonna give it a D tier, cause I, I don't even, I don't, I really don't like the past and the future mechanics. It, it it just sucked, and I don't like that how Amy is just literally waiting for you at every end of the stage just to give you a hug, which just like takes up so much time. And the special stages were horrible as well. But the only reason why I'm not putting this game in F, is because. Metal Sonic. That's literally the only reason why. So, Sonic the Hedgehog F. Actually, no. Actually, no. no. I'm, I'm going to give it a D tier. The mechanics, the gameplay, and everything, it was terrible. But I like what but I like what they did with the story and stuff. Essentially, there's a new hedgehog named Silver. And he comes from a, from a um, destroyed past. So, now there's this guy named Mephilus. And he... Lies to Silver and tells them that Sonic is the Iblis trigger. So, Mephilus knew that Sonic was gonna, you know, try to save Elise and all that good stuff. Because, I don't know why Eggman kept kidnapping her, but essentially, Silver, Mephilus wanted Silver to kill Sonic so that way Elise could cry and reawaken Iblis again. So, that was really the whole story. Next up, we got Snuckles Chaotic New Play. Sonic Dash. I gave this game B tier. It's a, another Sonic Racing mobile game. Well, not really a racing game, but another so Sonic mobile game. It's higher than Sonic Dash 2 because it's not Sonic Boom. It's just normal Sonic. But tell me why the last time I played this game, there was a Pac Man and Miss Pac Man event going on. That makes no sense to me. But next up, Sonic Mobile Never played. Never played. Never played. Never played. Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Now, this one is a huge step up from this one. So, this one, I like what they did with the tag team mechanics. It was really cool. So, next up, we got Sonic Labyrinth. I never played that. Sonic Frontiers. S tier. I don't even need to explain why. The Super Sonic boss fights were, um, were, were crazy. And a new spinoff to Sonic, being an open world game. Just going around the map, collecting cocoa and those seeds to max up your speed and defense was amazing. To max up your speed, attack, defense, ring capacity, stuff like that. That was amazing. And the supersonic boss fights, man. And the music. It was just amazing for no reason. Alright, so next up, we got... Never play. Sonic is gonna... What? I never, God, there were so many here that I never played. Never played, never played, never played, never played, never played. Sonic Speed Simulator. D tier. So, if y'all know that GameFam has been getting into a lot of trouble lately, I saw the drama and I'm not really a fan of GameFam. And everything, all the updates, it was just really overwhelming because you cannot even take a break just to get one thing. Cause if you had, cause if you just try, if you get one thing, take a break, 
the next thing you know, the thing that you were going to get next is already gone. So, the updates were just overwhelming. And the game is just annoyingly grindy and repetitive. So, yeah. Next play, next play, next play, next play. Alright, so, that's the end of the tier list. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. We're close to 9,000 subscribers, so... If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. And that's all I got. Bye.